UCSF Fresno is celebrating the 2018 class of graduates, medical residents and fellows who will now begin the next leg of their professional careers. Today, we're going to meet Dr. Andrea Sanaya, who just finished four years of emergency medicine residency training. His story is one of overcoming obstacles. Born and raised in Fresno, Ardley Musgrave shows us how it wasn't until later in his life that he realized he wanted to be a doctor. And that's because he didn't know how big dreams could get until he nearly lost his life. Dr. Andreas Anaya graduated from Hoover High School barely. I didn't understand why I was having trouble with tests and just figured I just wasn't uh, smart. At least that's what I was told. Dr. Anaya didn't grow up speaking English. His parents are first generation Mexican American, but he didn't grow up speaking Spanish either. That's because both his parents are deaf. His first language was American Sign Language. Dreaming to me at the time was limited. He figured college wasn't for him, so he got a job at a local tire plant. It was there at just 19 years old, he almost lost his life. Um, a hydraulic door compressed my back and arm to an inch. He was stuck for about 15 minutes. I was about to black out and I said my last, uh, my last prayer, which was just, please God, don't let me die like this. And just like that, somebody yelled out my name. Dr. Anaya had a second chance, though the accident left him temporarily paralyzed. When I was in the machine and I thought I was going to die, I, I was like, I want to go, I want to see Europe, I want to travel, I want to be a doctor. I was all like, these things were coming out and I was all like, I didn't even realize there were things I wanted. After recovery, he made it happen, completing his residency at UCSF Fresno. Along the way, learning he was quite smart. He just had a reading disorder because he hadn't grown up hearing English at home. I wanted to become a physician to practice medicine here in the Central Valley because of the way that I saw medicine growing up um, interpreting for my parents. He says he now hopes to improve those communication barriers by using his own life experience. Central Valley Pride is like, uh, um, is very important to me. It's, uh, it means everything to me in his own hometown I think to to talk about a dream about it and then to actually be doing it and practicing it is like I gotta tell you, it's what literally gets me out of bed in the morning